This is exercise 13-1-A, working with splines. I'm in the splines drawing in the steps lesson 13 folder. My running O snaps are set to node and all other settings are cleared. I will turn off my polar tracking and my dynamic input. Let's begin by doing a list on this polyline up here. You'll notice that our item is a polyline. It's not a lightweight polyline, it's a polyline. And it will take entering several times to go through several screens of information to detail all the information about that particular polyline. Using the spline command, we will convert that polyline to a spline. You can enter the command SPLINE or you can enter the hotkeys SPL. Alternately, you can pick spline from the tool palette. In this case, we will select an object, select our splined polyline. It doesn't look any different, but if we do a list on it, you'll see that all the information now can appear on one screen. So it's a good idea to use splines rather than edit rather than splined polylines. Saves quite a bit of space in your drawing. Okay, let's draw a spline from scratch. We'll start with the spline command and we'll use the unit the first set of nodes here on the left. AutoCAD prompts me enter next point. I'll continue to enter points. It gives me tangency options and tolerance options and we'll look at those in a few minutes here. At the end, as with a polyline or a line, I'll use my close option. And that's our first spline. Let's try drawing a spline with a tolerance. We'll repeat the command I'll pick the first node and then I'll set the to select the tolerance option and so set the tolerance to 1. This means that AutoCAD will draw the spline within one unit of the point I select. I'll continue as I did before, selecting each of the nodes and finish. You see that we haven't gone through each point, but we are within one unit of each point. That's, that was our tolerance. Now let's adjust our start and end tangency. We'll repeat the command, select the start point, and this time we'll select the start tangency. I'll tell AutoCAD to give me a tangency in this direction and then I will continue to select my nodes. After I select the last node, I'll right click and I'll set the end tangency. And in this case, I'll send it straight down like so. Now notice my end tangency sets the spline to continue as though I were going in the direction I selected, just as the start tangency starts off going in the direction that I selected. 